let him know you love him so and let them know by the rain around your neck. I will try. Well, they say that going steady is not the problem thing. They say that we're too young to know the meaning of a ring. I only know that I love, love you and that to you love me too. So darling, this is what I ask of you. Won't you wear his ring around your neck to tell the world you're his by heck. Let them see your love for me and let them know by the way around your bed. And let them know by the way around your neck. And let them know by the ring around your neck. Live from Las Vegas. Yeah. My very, very first movie. As you all know, it's still called Love Me Tender. Love me tender, love me sweet, never let them go, yeah. We are gathered here once again to celebrate memories. Today, the two of you truly pause on this very special day, the 31st day of October the year 2015 to reflect upon memories, taking us back to one of the greatest moments of your lives. It was your wedding day. Yeah. Oh, I have to tell you. Yeah. Nice. David, I must ask you, I know the answer, but I must ask you, do you once again take Louise to be your wedding wife? Yes. Louise, after 30 years of marriage, do you once again take David to be your wedding husband? Yes. Mom and Dad said yes. <laughs> we continue. It has been 30 years since those very special traditional wedding vows were exchanged. May I hold your flowers? I'll lay them over here. Joining both hands, David, repeat. I, David. I, David. I take the Louise. I take the Louise. To be my wedded wife. To be my wedded wife. My best friend. My best friend. My soulmate. My soulmate. To have it to hold. To have it to hold. From this day, from this day, and forever, and forever. Baby. Baby. <laughs> I, Louise. I, Louise. I, I take thee, David. I take thee, David. To be my wedded husband. To be my wedded husband. My best friend. My, best friend. my soulmate. My to have it to hold. To have it to hold. From today. From today. And forever. And forever. Baby. Mm, baby. <laughs> Number 14. Yeah. <laughs> Shall I stay? Would it be The way the kids looked, physically uh, thin, but not not excessively thin. I thought they were very active as a family. I didn't think that they didn't eat or there was punishment or anything like that. They were quiet, but yet they were well behaved. They didn't seem like they were, you know, if they acted out of line, they were just well behaved. They smiled a lot. It's hard to believe that the people that I performed for and entertained and set and talked uh, before and after entertaining them that this this could happen it's just it's disturbing it really is tellingly it, it is a really really strange story to say the least um, it, again if you guys are just joining uh, a family out here of uh, 
13 siblings were held against their will inside this home, and those siblings aged from the ages of 2 to 29 out here in Paris. Uh, the, both the uh, biological parents have been uh, taken into custody. All the children have been freed and brought to local hospitals to be taken care of because they were in uh, bad shape, uh, being starved apparently. Uh, so the adults in the one, uh, one hospital and then the uh, children into another. Nobody has passed away. But they are all, uh, they're all, you know, being taken care of right now. And the, uh, the family, the adults have been, uh, well, the adults, the, the parents are both in custody for what uh, happened out here. They don't know how long they've been, uh, been locked away inside this home. We do know that uh, the 17-year-old escaped on Sunday, got a hold of a cell phone, called 911. That alerted authorities to this residence. They made their way over here. Uh, the exact verbiage that was read to me was that uh, the uh, first officers arriving had a strange smell inside the home that uh, allowed them to go in further to look inside the house, and that's where they found uh, family members, uh, children and adult ages uh, 2 to 29, uh, chained to beds, locked into rooms, uh, in need of medical help, being emaciated, meaning no, not enough food. Uh, being starved, uh, every, all the uh, all the siblings have been taken to local hospitals. Nobody's passed away. Uh, the parents have been taken into custody. They've been charged with torture, which I can imagine is a very serious crime.